you gotta realize that people are jealous of you people are envious of what you have people are envious of how people look at you of how people treat you and they want the same thing you feel me today with another video thank you thank you thank you to all my honeys who have subscribed and been watching my channel i really appreciate you guys and i really appreciate the love you guys been showing me and welcome to all my honeys who are new and subscribing to my channel if you haven't already go ahead and press that subscribe button and follow me on my socials at sunny one underscore today gonna be something a little different though so we gonna be a bit more talkative today because i know i usually don't be talking through my tutorials or i usually like voice over my tutorials but this is not really a tutorial today i'm gonna do my hair y'all gonna get ready with me let's get into it i got some girls talk questions that i asked you guys on instagram and i got a whole bunch of questions so we gonna answer some of those girls talk questions today while I'm doing my hair. Don't be shy, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. First things first, I'm going to go ahead and take this old style out. I'm gonna do a separate detailed video on this hairstyle, but this is just a get ready girls talk with me. First topic of discussion, how to move when people are out to destroy your character. Girl, you know how many times someone they tried to destroy my character? Like, one thing you gotta know in life is there's going to be experiences that you have that darken your soul. The best thing you can do, be the light. Be the energy that you want people to give to you. Put out that energy and it's gonna come back to you. Move in silence. Move in silence and don't react, okay? When you react, people just gonna feed off that shit and think they bothering you. Girl, there's been plenty of occasions where someone tried to attack my character or tried to, you feel me, like try me in a way. I'm a fighter, okay? I don't talk, I don't do all that talking. It's either hands or you could shut up. You feel me though? It's like when someone doing all this, you gotta just understand, you can't let that shit hurt your feelings. It's their opinion. And everybody's entitled to their opinion. Everybody entitled to their freaking opinions and not everybody gonna like you. And I learned that at a young age. I feel like I always carried myself very unbotheredly. Unbotheredly. Is that a word? <laughs> Don't react because that's what they want you to do, baby. And move in silence. Don't never speak about your business to nobody. Okay? It don't matter if they're your friend or whatever. Don't never speak about your business to nobody. Okay? You got to understand how people are. This bird is giving me a hard time. Honeys, you got to realize that people are jealous of you. People are envious of what you have. People are envious of how people look at you, of how people treat you. And they want the same thing. You feel me? Don't ever stoop down to day level because that just makes you look just like them. Be in your own mind. Be in your own body. And mind your own business. Okay? Nobody can destroy your character that way. It don't matter what they say. I mean, people gonna talk about you regardless. You feel me? Like, people always gonna talk about you. They only destroy your character if you allow them to. They destroy your character when you react, if you ain't noticed that. Because the way you react may look nasty and mean to other people. And that's destroying how you present yourself. If you don't react to how they do things or what they doing to you, they gonna be looking stupid and they gonna be looking like they arguing with they self. Huh. and everything will be golden but in living my life like it's golden living my life i know this is probably like the most you guys heard me speak a lot of people think that i'm like stuck up because my face be like this majority of the time my face be like this and the people that don't know me see my face like she this and she that and she might got a problem and i be saying stuff wrong sometimes because i grew up in a jamaican family so um, they speak broken English, so it's like kind of 
my words be kind of here and there sometimes and I have to like slow down and speak. <laughs> don't let them bullies get to you, girl. We don't like bullies over here. We don't like judgment over here. This is a judgment-free zone, baby. Anybody can be they self in here. And that's what people gotta understand. Why you don't just leave people alone? Why you don't just let them be them? Cause that's them. It's not bothering you. Like, it's not bothering you at all for them to do what they doing. <music> Next topic of discussion. Why do women shame each other? I don't know. I try my best to uplift each and every female that I ever come across. I don't never want to talk down on no female because for one, you never know what somebody went through. Like, I don't know why women judge or shame each other. It's not our business and it's not our priority to pass judgment on people. Nor worry about what other people is doing in their life. You have your life and you have one life. Live your life and worry about your life. Like, then if you want to involve people in your life, worry about those people. But don't pass judgment. You feel me? Don't shame them because everybody makes mistakes and everybody comes to conclusions on their own everybody has a different way of learning you feel me like so your mistakes may not be their mistakes your mistakes may work for them in the future you don't know that you can't sit there and tell somebody that what you did wrong is not gonna work for them you can give them advice advice is very helpful but not when you sit you can't sit there and say you giving someone advice when you sitting there and critiquing and telling them everything that went wrong with you like that's that's being judgmental too say for instance like body shaming is a big thing among us as women in the community us as females in the community body shaming is big and i don't know why like if someone wants to do plastic surgery to feel happier with themselves why not allow them to like why is it your business what they doing to their body i don't care what people doing with their body i don't care what people doing with their life it doesn't affect me in no way if it don't affect you in your life if it don't bother you in your life then why are you talking about it why are you shaming other women for trying to love themselves it needs to stop we need to pass love and positivity to everybody everybody need love why do women shame each other i feel like it has to do with a couple of things honestly i feel like it's ignorance how they was raised maybe something was drilled into their head where they don't really understand like passing judgment not really gonna help you feel better i feel like us as women should understand what other women are going through and not shame them we're powerful and you can't allow someone to make you feel less than yourself you can't allow yourself to make someone feel less than themselves i think it has to do with ignorance arrogance closed-mindedness society standard like i said i'm gonna say it a million times i don't understand and i don't get it y'all need to start shaming each other love each other she's a baddie oh you got your butt done then they want to talk about you but you just thought she was a baddie oh but she's not real how is she not real it's her skin she living right once you love and worry about yourself then you're not gonna be worrying or bothering to worry about what another female is doing with herself y'all my edges look crazy i'm gonna do a mini edge tutorial i don't want to say all the girls talk questions because it's gonna be a long video if you guys enjoyed this little mini section of girls talk then i will definitely make a separate girls talk video and we can chat it up we can chat like chatter boxes okay if you guys enjoyed this video of me just doing my hair and just talking to you guys and getting to know you guys this is the most i spoke in a video for real and i really want to get to know you guys personalities would you say um being a bad texter is a toxic trait like or not texting back is a toxic trait <laughs> i don't know if i want to add bubbles because i feel like bubbles i don't know if y'all call them bubbles some of some people call them barrettes some people call them knockers <laughs>
Thank you.